This video will provide an overview of the Cardio Explorer software for ICU telemetry use for veterinary hospitals. After pairing your recorder to the computer via Bluetooth, you'll need to make sure that the COM port matches the recorder number. To do this, first click the Preferences tab, and next click the Hardware tab. For the purposes of this video, I'll use recorder 12017. Your recorder number is the SN on the recorder. To see what COM port your recorder is using, open the Bluetooth settings. Next, open the COM ports tab. In this case, recorder 12017 is using the COM4 port. Make sure that you're looking under the outgoing direction of the port. Remember your port and then click OK. I'll name my recorder 12017 and select COM port 4 to sync the two and then click Save. Now let's create a patient. You can either create a patient before recording, or you can record and then assign the recording to a patient later. To create a patient, open the Database tab at the top. Right-click in the Patient field here and select New Patient. Fill out the patient information and then click Save. Make sure that hardware is set to COM, sampling rate set to 150 Hz, record time to 24 hours, BT online time to 0 minutes, and that BT wake up is enabled. Once you've connected the electrode cables to the recorder, the recorder will automatically begin recording. If the electrode cables are properly connected to the patient and the recorder, your recorder will look like this. In order to display the live stream, click the recorder you wish to view. Clicking Set transfers the patient information to the recorder. I'll now click Set. If this window appears, it means that there is a recording on the recorder that is not yet transferred to your computer. Click Yes if you want to discard the data on the recorder. Click No if you want to save the recording before making a new recording. In this video, I will click Yes. After having clicked Set, the patient name is displayed on the stream window. To display the live stream and start a new recording, click Start. After a few seconds of warming up, you'll see the proper stream. To display the stream in a larger window, click the D1 button. This software allows up to 21 ECGs to be displayed in parallel with an advanced configuration option. You can left click and drag the display window to see more of the stream. You can hide or unhide any channel by unchecking or checking the channel boxes.
the channel in red is the channel currently being used for live analysis. You can change which channel you want to be analyzed by clicking the channel so that it turns red. In the case of poor signal quality, mark the better channel red. Click the Config tab to open the Configuration window. In the Config window, you can adjust alarm parameters, set markers for medication studies, turn online monitoring on and off, and control which items to display. For now, I'll turn the online monitoring window on and the marker window off. Turn on the alarms you want to hear and or be displayed in the alarm window. Change alarm parameters as needed. When you're finished, click Close. If you want to hear alarms, enable the QRS and the AB options at the top. Listen as the QRS will trigger a heartbeat-like sound whenever the recorder picks up a heartbeat, and the AB alarm will trigger an alarm sound. Now watch as the patient displays a heart condition. If AB is enabled, you should hear an alarm sound. The alarm window will be displayed in flashing blue and yellow, and the event window will be displayed beneath the alarm window. At this point, I will turn off the video sound. When you use the software, you'll hear alarms as long as QRS and AB are enabled. At any time, you can move the window bar up and down to display more or less of the signal. In the HR and ST windows, you can increase or decrease the scale of the trend via the plus or minus buttons. You can select from an event by single-clicking it. A window will appear with an image of the event at the time the event occurred. Right-click, hold, and drag will allow you to see different sections of the recording. The green V located here highlights the event you selected. You can take a measurement by left-clicking and dragging from one point to another. When you're finished viewing this window, click the X. The green button here indicates that the recorder is properly connected and is streaming live. Clicking the green button will display a full disclosure of the recording thus far. In the Full Disclosure window, you can increase or decrease the signal amplitude by clicking the up-down arrows at the top. You can also increase or decrease the paper speed by clicking the left and right arrows. For long recordings, click the down arrow to move to the next page of the recording, and click the up arrow to move to the previous page of the recording. You can also switch between each channel's full disclosure by selecting a channel at the top. Click the red X to close the full disclosure window. Now we will purposely move the transmitter out of range. The recorder will continue to record, despite a frozen signal.
Notice that the signal is frozen. When the recorder comes back within range of the computer, the live stream will reappear. Now we will close the display window by clicking this X. If any of the display windows, D1, D2, etc., are accidentally closed, press the recorder button to relaunch the streaming window. Now let's see what three recorders running in parallel look like. Configure the settings for each patient by clicking on the Config tab for that patient. For example, let's turn off the HR and ST trend windows for the middle patient. Now we'll turn the online monitoring windows off and then on. Click Close to save the config settings. Now back to single patient monitoring. From earlier, we learned that clicking Start begins a new recording. If we want to end the recording completely, we need to click Stop. Let's click Stop now. Since the recording is now stopped, you can choose to analyze the recording. To analyze the recording, you need to download the data from the recorder and save it to the software. Unplug the recorder. Next, plug the USB cable into the recorder, making sure the top side of the USB cable is on the same side as the face of the recorder. Then plug the USB cable in. After connecting the USB cable to the computer, you may get a few pop-up windows or prompts. Just ignore them. To transfer the recording to the computer, make sure you've selected the correct MM card driver. The Download ECG button will be clickable. Click the Download ECG button. Notice how the ECG recording was transferred and the patient data was retained. If you want to analyze an ECG, please watch the Dextronics Holter Setup slash Cardio Explorer Overview for Holter Use video. This concludes the Cardio Explorer Software Overview for ICU telemetry use. If you have any questions regarding the software, please feel free to contact us.